Scanning is a way for you to use a radio to monitor or receive more than one channel or group of contacts. When scanning, your radio will go through a list of channels you program to see if there's any activity. If it hears nothing, it keeps going. However, if your radio does hear activity, it will stop and open the speaker. This is an effective way to quickly monitor what channels are active. So how can you create one for yourself? Hi, I'm Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems. Today, we'll walk you through the best practices to create your very own scan list. Okay, so now we are going to go into the software. Uh, so open up your CPS. Uh, first, go into select the radio in the COM port. Make sure your radio is plugged in and turned on. And then uh, just read from your radio. Go read data from radio, just the other data. That's all we need for now. There we go, perfect. And from here, uh, we are going to go into scan list. Uh, now at this point, you can create a new scan list. Now you can see I have a couple here. There's a few things to mention. Uh, the scan list only support up to 50 channels. So this can be pretty limiting depending on what you wanna scan. And they also scan uh, very slowly. If you're used to a actual like radio scanner, these scan very, very slowly. So if you're wanting to scan, you know, the, the max 50 channels, it will take a long time to get through it. And you know, if, if they're fast paced transmissions, you may actually miss them. So it really isn't a good scanner for uh, you know, high end scanning, but what it is good for is for scanning small lists. So what I'm going to do is uh, add the NOAA weather channels, which is you know, almost essential to have them as a scan function if you do a lot of traveling and want to listen to them. And it works perfectly for that. So there we go, Now I'm going to label what it is. Uh, I've just added them from my list over here on the left, and then you click the arrows and select the ones you want, and you can add them to the list on the right. That's what's actually going to be in your scan list. One, two, seven, that way I know what it is. And then there's some more information options down here if you want it to uh, scan a, a priority channel more often, but we're just gonna leave that all of that turned off. And click OK. And now you can see we have this uh, NOAA weather channels in our scan list. So we are now going to go ahead and write that to the radio. All we need is the other data. There we go, write data completed. So now we just go to the radio here. Okay, so now at this point you can unplug your radio. Here we go, wait for it to boot up real quick. And there we go. So uh, if you have a zone, like for the weather channels, I have a zone already uh, with, with them in it. Uh, you wanna go ahead and select that. Now you can do the scan list from a, um, a different channel or a different zone, uh, but that will pop up in your scan. It will, it will uh, include that in it. It's, it's kind of interesting how it works. Uh, so for this case, I'm just going to go to my weather channels and zone, and then go over here to menu. This so you can see it. Uh, menu and then go down to scan and then click on scan list. Then we want to select the one we just created right here. And then from there, generally I like to go up two clicks and that'll take you to the bottom of the page here. Uh, select current list, it's abbreviated, that's what you want to select. Go ahead and select that. Then back out and then we can go ahead and turn scan on. And you can set up shortcuts to make this easier for yourself. There we go. And as you can see, it is scanning through our, our weather channels at this point. Uh, now if I turn the volume up, we can see it's not actually stopping on any of them. Uh, that's because we're in the studio, which is in the middle of the valley and is, is down in the building. So we really don't have any reception in here. But if we were to go outside, the scan list will actually stop on a channel once it can receive it. And then you will be able to listen to that channel. You now know how to set up a scan list in your Anytone radio. After watching today's video, you probably will want to switch between scan lists. Well, no worries, just click the link below and we'll show you how. Thanks again for watching, 7 3.